these ruins here. Mongolian. Mongolian script. Ugh, can't quite piece it together. Trinity, they're here. Command, do you copy? Oh, shit! Oh, shit. What the hell was that? Survey team, please respond. We got some interfit. <laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <sighs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. Got to find this wound. Those leash has done the bleeding. <sighs> Needs some kind of bandage. Those mushrooms, they're death caps. I should be able to make a poison.
able to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try. to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Lara. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again! Runner down. Report in. What's the situation? Over. We found another camp up here. Fire was still warm. <sighs> Command, we're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find them. Native set snares in the clearing. They must have planned for us to. Get on the radio, see if you can raise the facility. That signal we got said they were under attack. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. And tell crew fuck this up, these aren't peasants. Yeah, these are guerrilla tactics. They knew to go straight for the comms array as soon as we showed up. Shit. We're gonna need counterinsurgency protocols. It'll blow the timetable. Constantine's not gonna like this, but it's better than getting picked off in the dark. 
open. The natives booby trapped the woods. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots, and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this. It's something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving... giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. I've learned all I can from the carnage inside the Prophet's tomb. My brothers were slain to the last man sometime within the last few days. The false prophet's followers died here by the hundreds, but in the end, they were victorious. I have sealed the tomb as best I can and told the men of the nearby village that the Prophet is at last dead. I left them with a the subtle threat that this place should remain hidden. I do not know if the Prophet survived but I will follow their trail. No one escapes the Order of Trinity.
Damn it! Shit! That's gonna be cold. An arrowhead carved from bone. This looks like Mongol craftsmanship. This was a whistling arrow. Mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them. Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? <clears throat> hmm. It's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. Well, I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep.
Got it. Now to find out what's up there. wealth with them. It's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here with us. I have always kept a little poison at the ready in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. I'm not your enemy. That remains to be seen. You killed those men back there. I killed them to survive. I suspect you did too. How long have they been here? Days, at most. The invaders took many of my people prisoner. You should leave this place before it's too late. I can't do that. I came here for something important. So did they. If I see you again, I'll put an arrow in your throat. You and I are on the same side. I hope I can prove that to you. What's going on down there?
So, there are people who live out here, and they appear to have been here for a very long time, living in isolation for decades, maybe even centuries. I notice elements of her dress, small adornments that would not have been out of place in the Byzantine Empire. Could they possibly be descendants of the Prophet's people? How much do they know about the lost city or the divine source? It's clear Trinity will do anything to find out. I'm afraid that whoever they are, they're in grave danger. Let's hope the old proverb about the enemy of my enemy remains true. <laughs>